Hello, mentorship boardroom family. Dumelang, Sanbonani, Molweni, Uchanda, Chiala. I hope everybody is fantastic and everybody is staying safe. I'm seeing a Khumutso joining us. Hello, Khumutso. Hello, Khumutso. Um, I'm seeing Pizzo joining us. Hello, Pizzo. Welcome, welcome. Oli, welcome. Guys, let me know where are you phoning? Where, where are you dialing in from? Where are you dialing in from? Hello, Kiev. Hello, Lorato. Welcome, everybody. Um, if you're just joining us, my name is Vumim Sweli and I am a career coach. And today I'm going to be talking to you all about career planning for 2022. So we've all been about seeing hashtag goals, hashtag goals, hashtag goals for 2022. That is what we are going to be discussing this evening. So if you're joining us, please let me know where you're from and welcome to the Mentorship Boardroom. If you don't know what the Mentorship Boardroom is, it is a platform where we leverage mentorship to grow in different spheres in our lives. So please make sure you're following us if you're not following already. Let's, oh, there we go, some light. Hello, someone from Centurion. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I am in a rainy Johannesburg. I, I, I'm curious to know where you are from. Ladies and gents, this session is going to be very interactive. Feel free in the chat section to ask me any questions when it comes to, um, you know, really planning your goals for 2022. Hello, Carol. Welcome. Hello, Khumoto from Rustenburg. Lorato from the East Rand. Welcome to Instagram Live right here in the Mentorship Boardroom. So, when we start talking about goals, I know it was like, Vumi, it is January. We all have goals. And what tends to happen is towards the end of the month of January, it's guang, 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 guang. zero of the goals have been achieved and we've sort of fallen by the wayside. What I'm interested in ensuring is that that doesn't happen to you in your career this year. We all know the concept that when we, um, when we fail to plan, we plan to fail. And for me, in looking at your career goals, if it's just something you're writing down, it's just a wish. It is not a plan. A goal written down is merely a wish, not a plan. So if we're talking about a plan, a plan is only successful if we are ready to execute on the plan. Our ability to execute on the plan ensures that that plan is in essence successful. So make sure you've grabbed your water. Make sure you are grabbing a pen. So let's get cracking on Career Goals 2022. So the reason I'm wanting to have this conversation is in looking at the year 2022, fundamentally different to the year 2021, fundamentally different to the year 2020, and of course, in life pre-COVID. We are in a space where we're looking and seeing that the future of work is now here. The hybrid model is now in essence in existence. What do I mean? You are in a space now where you're either walking or going to the office, or alternatively, you are working from home. So how you engage your career is going to be different. It's not going to be the traditional having a cup of coffee at the water cooler, meeting at Vida, and meeting your, your, um, meeting your colleagues and building relationships that way. That's not going to work. I literally have had a grads that I've been speaking to in a law firm who for the past years, their entire graduate career, they've never been in the office. So they actually have to now learn the skills of engaging with humans face to face. For you to be successful in your career, you're going to need a hybrid set of skills. So in looking at your career goals, I want you to have them with you. Looking at your career goals for the year, if it's Vumi, I want to get a promotion. Vumi, I'm wanting to earn 20% more. Vumi, I want to change industries. Uh, Vumi, I want to start a side hustle. Look at your career goals and say, do my career goals also unpack the hybrid skill set I am going to need? Do my goals unpack in its plan the fact that I'm going to need to be very good on Zoom, on Microsoft Teams, the fact that I have to be great at establishing relationships online? Do your goals look at the future of work or are you setting goals that would have worked historically? Yeah, I know. I'm seeing Lufuna, I'm seeing you, Debo. I'm seeing you, Kama. Do your goals currently speak to the future of work or do your goals focus on what would have made you successful retrospectively? Not now. So for us to start getting into the mindset of 2022 goals that are actually going to be successful is we have to get comfortable with the various stages of goals. 
So the first is the ideation stage. It's the planting stage. It's the unpacking the destination where you're wanting to be. The next is understanding that there has to be a, sh a mind shift. And I call that the de-weeding. The space you get into when you have to say, for me to go where I've never been, I have to think and do what I've never done before. Which means I have to change my habits. I have to change how I think about it. I have to acquire a skill. So in looking at your goals, do your goals speak to what you need to get rid of? What mindset shift needs to occur? Or is it all focused on the future and not focused on what needs to shift for the future to come and be made manifest now? So what do you need to get rid of mindset wise? Another big aspect that a lot of us don't think about when we look at our goals is we see the vision, we see the plan, but very rarely do we unpack step by step the implementation. So if you're saying you want a promotion, what is the step by step to get there? I'm very interested in this. Guys, in the chat, I want to know, step by step, who are the people who say for me, my career goals, I've written them down step by step. If those of you who are saying, hey, Vumi, there's no plan, then I want to see hashtag no plan. There is a wish, but there's no plan. So I can see how to support you guys better. Let me know in the chat. Who's saying to me, Vumi, I'm hashtag no plan? Or Vumi, I'm hashtag step by step? Let me know in the chat. I want to know. Who of you guys are really articulating and going to granular detail in manifesting your goals? And who of you guys are saying, Rumi, I just wrote down a wish. Now when you're talking about step-by-step -step plan, I'm hashtag team no plan. Yo, I'm saying team no plan. I see Sine, I see Lynn. That is saying, Rumi, I'm team no plan. Okay, I love that question, Neil. How do you plan out your vision in steps? So, first you've got your vision, right? That's the ideation. That's a clear understanding of your goals, of where you're wanting to be. How you go about it is re reverse engineering. To say, to get there, what needs to happen? What needs to happen to help me get there? A lot of us just focus on the vision without the plan. And that's one of the reasons. If we don't have the plan, then we have no commitment because there's nothing to commit to. And that's why we find ourselves the very next year, beginning of 1st of January, writing the same thing. And saying, these are my New Year's resolutions. It's a resolution to fail if there is no plan. If there is no plan, it's a resolution to fail. So I'm seeing Sis Matsuigi saying, it's, I've got a semi-plan, there's an overview, but the details are not clear. So this is what you're doing when we don't have granular details in, in, in executing our goals. It's saying, go northwest. So you know the direction of where you're wanting to go? Saying go northwest is not going to get you there. It might help you be in the area, but not going to get you to your direct location. I want you to think of your GPS. It says to you, at the robot, turn left. Drive for 600 meters, turn right. At the traffic circle, take the second exit. It is granular detail to get you to your set location. The same is true when doing your career goals. Now, a lot of you are going to say to me, uh, Vumi, what? I, do, I need someone to give me those directions because I've got no clue as to how to do that. Have no fear. That's one of the reasons we're having this discussion. We're having a masterclass on the 31st of January at 6 p.m. where we unpack the how, the steps that need to be literally laid out to ensure that your, your New Year's resolution is not just a wish list, but a real reality for you. How, if you want to know more about it, feel free in the mentorship boardroom to just DM the word goals and I uh, will be giving you more information regarding that. So, guys, having a semi-plan is giving you a semi-direction. Having no plan means you will stay where you are. You know, I always say, If you don't know where you're going, any road is going to lead you there. So our inability to have a clear destination, which is in essence a clear goal, we will find ourselves fundamentally frustrated driving around in circles. So if you hashtag no plan, let's get on it. Let's get a plan together. 
okay so how do we get a plan together for me we have to get back to basics where do you want to be and in all honesty does your current organization need that you may want to be somewhere but your organization doesn't need that guys we've all seen how many how many people have been losing their jobs we've seen how retrenchment has been happening left right and center a lot of us are now uh, getting into the entrepreneurship space so if i say your boss think also about your customers back to basics do they need the, the solution you are providing? If they do not need it, it means you are a nice to have. In order for you to be successful in the executing of your game plan for your career, you can't be a nice to have. You must be a need to have. And the way you become a need to have is all about your positioning. I know in, in some of our previous conversations, we've spoken about personal branding. But your positioning within your career will help make those goals manifest or not. Okay? So, um, I know, yes, I think it was Monday when I was talking about assets and liabilities. Guys, for my sins, I used to be an accountant. So, I love thinking in assets and liabilities. Asset is something that adds or creates value. Liabilities is something that diminishes in value. In looking at yourself and the goals you have set out for the year 2022... Is it going to make you an asset or is it going to make you a liability? Is your organization going to turn around and say, oh my goodness, where have you been? We are so glad we did not get rid of you in the year 2022. This is the value you have added. Or is your organization currently going to look at your career goals and say, actually, minus one salary that we have to worry about? Or is your client excuse me, going to say, actually, minus one supplier I need to pay. Look at your goals. Are your goals looking at how you are positioning yourself? You do not have the luxury of thinking as an employee in setting your goals. I want you to think as a partner. You do not have the luxury of thinking of yourself as just um, an entrepreneur. I want you to think of yourself as a partner to your potential um, employer, your potential customer. If you are going to be successful in the year 2022, you have to be looking at your goals to ensure that they're going to make you an asset. Otherwise, you will be redundant. You will be a nice to have. You're going to be like so many of the buildings we're seeing all over the country that are empty. We thought they were critical. They're no longer critical. They sit vacant. They sit not being utilized. You cannot not be utilized in the year 2022 in setting your goals. Okay? So guys, I'm interested to know how many of you are saying, yo, Vumi, I'm team assets. Or Vumi, actually my goals are team liability. I was just thinking about me and what I want. I wasn't looking at, this, at the landscape I find myself in the year 2022. So let's see here. I'm seeing some more. Okay, now it's saying, Vumi, how do you overcome the fear of taking a step? That is a very good question now. So you don't overcome it. You do it afraid. You're not going to shift your life and shift your career and say, oh my goodness, I'll wait for the fear to subside. Fears like waves. It comes and it goes. One of my favorite uh, poets, um, Rumi, said emotions are visitors. They come and they go. So just because you're sitting with fear as a visitor, does not mean you then paralyze yourself. You do it afraid. Okay, I hope I've answered that question. Not an easy answer, but it's a necessary one. Well, oh, I'm seeing some people. Yes, yes. Let's have a saying, Vumi, I am team assets. Lynn is, I am team assets. But this is like, yo, Vumi, I'm going to do it afraid. We have to do it afraid. We have to, in looking at our career goals, ladies and gents, look at ourselves as how we're going to position ourselves for assets. For those of you who say for me, that sounds nice. I've got no clue how to begin that. Please DM the word goals and we will support you in our masterclass on the 31st of January to help support you. Make sure that you're positioning yourself as an asset. Okay, I see you, Kutla, saying, hey, for me, I'm hashtag no plan. Okay, so if you're not going to think like, a, like, a, an, a, like an employee, and you're having to start thinking and positioning yourself as a partner in looking at your goals in order to succeed in your career, what are some of the things that need to happen? So I'm going to give you some tips that you should be thinking about. And 
for me, and this is something I think that's resonated with a lot of the guys who follow me on Instagram, and I, I want to share it with you, is when key decisions are being made, are you invited to the table or are you informed post the meeting? Let me unpack this. I'm not saying you have to be part of Exco. I'm not saying you have to be part of the leadership team. I'm not saying you even have to be part of Manco. You can even be junior. But when decisions are being made, do they stop and say, oh, Shirley, let's get your opinion on this. Do they say, uh, Mabzi, let's get you, Mabzi, what, what are your thoughts? Or do they go ahead and make the decision and then put you in FYI? When they send you that, that email, for your information. So are you hashtag team FYI or are you hashtag team at the table? Because if you are hashtag team FYI, it's going to proportionally influence your ability to make your career goals manifest. It means your organization is not really viewing you as an asset. Your opinion doesn't add much value. But if you are saying, Vumi, in 2022, I'm wanting to position myself in a space where my organization sees me as someone who's critical to have at the table. That is a goal we need to work on. If you are team, I am at the table, Vumi, I am saying, yes, we are winning. It means that in your career goals, we're looking at expanding. Whilst if you are team hashtag FYI, we are looking at growing. We are looking at growing your perception growing how people view you in order for you to be successful in that particular career that you have chosen for yourself okay for you to be seen as that asset as a must-have partner as a must-have uh, person that we've got uh, we've onboarded in procurement if you're an entrepreneur as a must-have um a skill or person that we need to grow our organization the second thing you're going to have to have is a rare skill what do I mean? I mean, what you are bringing to the table must be niche. How do we make it niche? Nobody does it better than you. Let me rephrase that. For you to have a rare skill, it's not just technical competence, but it's also the how. How are you doing what you do? Because there could be millions of people who've got the exact same skill as you. We could replace you like that tomorrow. But the reason we want to keep working with you is the how you are doing it. So in looking at your goals, have you unpacked how you're positioning yourself as being a rare skill in order to be perceived as an asset? Because if you're not, and I love the song by Beyonce, to the left, to the left, everything you own and the box to the left, you're irreplaceable. We can replace you. You're not irreplaceable. Tomorrow we will have another you. Because how you do it is actually nothing to write home about. So in looking at your goals, are you considering the how? How are you going about positioning yourself? How are you going about adding value? Be very, very clear and consider all of these aspects in your career goals. If you're saying to me, yo, Vumi, I didn't think about any of these things. Guys, you have to join us on the 31st of January for the masterclass. And we've got it on special for the mentorship boardroom. Usually when I do my master classes, it's 500 Rand. We've got it at 250 Rand. So it's a 50% discount. You literally have to DM the word goals and we will send you the information. It's to make sure that you are clearly planning, not making a wish list, not a nice to have, but a very clear, distinct plan that is ready to execute. Because imagine if you walked into the office tomorrow and you said, Hi guys, we are going to increase sales. Okay, what does that mean? By how much? When? How? We've got a clear plan. We call it an action plan, a business case, if you will. If we're not doing that in our own career, in our own personal capacity, we will find ourselves going nowhere slowly. Okay? So it's very important that we really consider this. Another big thing in looking at the goals, and I'm seeing a lot of people are making this mistake. As I sip my water, a lot of people are making the mistake and error of considering solely 
where they find themselves in the world in their career plans. They are only looking at where they find themselves in the world for their career plans. You cannot limit yourself to your geographical location. The one thing we have seen since COVID is that borders in the digital space have come crumbling down. Why are you keeping your own focus in your career only in your region? So if you are sitting in uh, Johannesburg, South Africa, if you are sitting in Lagos, Nigeria, if you are sitting in uh, Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of Congo or Maputo in Mozambique, that is not the only place you can bring your skill set. Are you making the mistake of limiting your goals to only where you are? I want you to be a little bit more expansive. I want you to look at your goals and say, have I limited myself? Because in essence, you can formulate a clear career strategy, a, a clear career plan that can echo beyond the geography of where you find yourself. So, Vumi how? You know, guys, I'm always, always a fan of multiple revenue streams. So even in looking at your career, you might say, Vumi, I've got a nine to five, but your side hustle, it doesn't have to stop in Zanzi. It doesn't have to stop in Sadiq. It doesn't even need to stop on the continent of Africa. I right now, as a career coach, have the privilege of coaching clients in the United States of America. I coach clients in France. I coach clients all over the place. And what that does is it allows me, little Vumim Sweli, to go beyond South Africa to the rest of the world, which means I earn revenue in currencies beyond the rand. So in looking at your particular career plan and strategy, are you diversifying? Because me, I like dollars, eh? I like dollars. I love Nairas. Hmm? I like Mozambique and Metica. I like currencies. So look at those multiple revenue streams. Look at the multiple skill sets that you can bring that can generate your revenue. Asking me again, Vumi, I never thought about that before. What? DM the word goals. Join the masterclass on the 31st. It really is about you in the beginning of the year. Taking the time to plan for the year. So you do not wake up and find yourself in the space where nothing has changed. When nothing changes, nothing changes. If you're going to do the exact same thing you've always done, you will find yourself in exactly the same spot. And I know a few of you are saying, uh, Vumi, I've never heard this content before. I'm a bit confused. What? Welcome to your first career coaching session. I am Vumi Mswedi and I am a career coach. And these are the kind of key conversations I have with my clients all the time. That's what coaching is about. It's about shifting your perspective. It's about opening up the world for you in looking at your career. And for you realizing that your career is not just limited to what you do nine to five. Your career is your life's work. Your career is your life's work. So I see Sboshli saying, please drop us a registration link to the masterclass. Sboshli, please, can you, um, can you please um, DM me the word goals and I'll be able to send it to you. Alternatively, if you go to my Instagram live at Vumim Sweli, V-U-M-I-M-S-W-E-L-I, literally DM me there or click on the link in my bio and you can literally sign up for the career goals uh, uh, setting a masterclass there. Okay. I hope that's answered your question. I'm seeing a lot of you. I'm liking Kanya. Kanya, you're a real friend. Hey, I'm seeing you tagging your people. Well done, Kanya Nobek. Yeah, I like that. A friend who's really invested in making people grow. That's fantastic. So if you've just joined us, welcome to the Instagram Live for the Mentorship Boardroom. I'm Vumi Msueli, and we are talking all about setting goals for the year 2022. And if you're catching up, in essence, what we're saying is what worked for us historically is not going to work in the year 2022. We're diversifying one, our mindset, so we're shifting how we used to think. We're releasing things that don't work for us. We are not limiting ourselves to geography. We are saying we are no longer hash team FYI, as in we are only being told about decisions post, but we are carefully and strategically positioning ourselves to be at the table when decisions are being made. Okay? 
Very, very important for us to get to that space for me is intentionality. It is intentionality. You will succeed with what you intend to do. Okay? So if you are not intentional with your goals, you will find yourself being in the space where you're repeating the same mistakes over and over. Okay? We have, we've heard the concept of smart goals. We know it, but we don't do it. If we are not intentional and saying, this is my plan, this is how I'm going to execute, we will find ourselves driving around in circles. When we started our conversation, what did I say to you? If you're saying, yeah, I've got a, I've got a career resolution for New Year's. I've got an idea. That's an idea of where you're wanting to go. That's me saying to you, okay, let's go on a, on a beach holiday. You may be thinking Seychelles. Your neighbor might be thinking Mauritius. Um, I might be thinking, um, you know, Zanzibar. But in essence, I'm saying to you, let's meet in Duba Duba. It's by the beach, but it's not what you had in mind. That's what happens when you don't have a clear career plan and strategy. Okay? You need to think your GPS. When, when the little lady's voice says you turn left in 400 meters. At the next stop sign, turn right. She's giving you clear, articulate instructions to get you where you're wanting to be. That is the job of your career plan, your career goals for 2022. If they're too general, you will find yourself in the middle of nowhere because you do not have clear plans and instructions to get there. Okay, so guys, if you've just joined us, put some comments in any comments any questions in the comment section so i'll be able to answer those hello coach hetty i see you i see you um is the master saying i can't wait for the master class i can't wait to see you there especially saying thank you oh it's an absolute pleasure looking forward to seeing you in the master class okay when i speak about intentionality i also have to refer to the relationships a lot of us are not realizing that we're not where we want to be We've got the technical competence, but in essence, we don't have the right relationships. You guys are following the mentorship boardroom right here because mentorship is important. Mentorship is the kind of relationship that can propel you forward. And for those of you who've just joined the mentorship boardroom and you're not following, please follow the mentorship boardroom. So literally click up and just follow. But beyond following the mentorship boardroom in the link, then you literally can go to our website and you can sign up to be a mentor or a mentee. That is the first kind of relationship that you can start instituting that can help you in your in your achieving your goals. Okay? So literally that relationship will allow you to start achieving your goals. There's some other key relationships that you need that can make your career goals for 2022 manifest. We've started one now here. I'm I'm a career coach and we're having a relationship right now. But there might be relationships you need to have out in your organization that in essence creating them is change there's no more familiarity you're not going to bump into each other at the lift you're not going to say oh at the I'll, I'll, let's grab a cup of coffee downstairs you're not going to be at the water cooler having a conversation you're not going to uh, walk each other to your cars and and wrap up some thought processes that you have so it means your entire intentionality and strategy for relationship building has to change because what you would have instituted in 2019 is not going to serve you now. It means how you're looking at your goals has to shift as well. So if you're saying to me, I want to grow my career, but you're not intentional about the relationships you're going to need, you're going to find yourself very frustrated. And you're going to find yourself repeating the same mistakes that you did in 2021. Guys, in 2020, God, we were all caught by surprise. We were unaware. We'd never lived in a pandemic before. So I'll forgive you. I'll say, ah, no one knew. Even the organizations were trying to wrap their heads around it. I'll, I'll write off 2020. 2021, things were, there was a semblance of balance. Now we're starting to see, oh, okay, this is how the world of work is looking like. If you are not where you want to be in your career in 2022, guys, bite me once. It's my fault. Twice. You have to take accountability and realize that it's up to you now. So if you're saying to me, Vumi, 
2022, I'm not doing the sequel of 2021. I, I don't even want it to be a trilogy. It's a brand new movie. I am very clear as to where I'm wanting to be. I need assistance getting there and being strategic in really propelling myself in my career in 2022. Then DM the word goals to the mentorship boardroom. Alternatively, go to at Vumim Sueli. You can DM me the word goals. You can literally click on my, the link in my bio and you can sign up. And I, I've made this for the mentorship boardroom. You literally are getting 50% off the masterclass. Usually there's 500 rands. So it's literally now going to be only 250 rands to join that masterclass. Okay. The landscape has changed. The strategies that got you here are not going to propel you to where you're wanting to be in your career. So you have to think about it. If you're wanting to earn more, you're going to have to literally rethink the value that you bring. Position yourself as that asset. Don't be team hashtag FYI, but actually really be, I am the table. I am bringing it to the table. If you're saying the relationships, the positioning has to change. You're not going to get to your December 31 of 2022. Sit back, pop some bubbly or have a sip of tea and say, wow, 2022, best year of my career. If you don't start with the plan, you need to start with the plan. And the plan starts in a clear strategy and actionable points, guys. A guessing game will only get you into the region. It is not going to get you to where it is that you're wanting to be. So I'm interested to know in the chat, literally in the comment section, what are your challenges? What are your questions in looking at career goal setting for 2022? Because that's all we're going to be discussing in the masterclass. So I'm seeing some comments. Uh, Duku Loho saying, Blockbuster 2022, I'm ready. Yes! We're going to do Wakanda forever. Black Panther vibes. Something that's never been seen before. Not the sequel of 2021. We're not doing a trilogy for 2022. We're going to make it our best, best year yet from for our careers perspective. Um, okay. Khumutso Rappu saying, I really can't wait for the masterclass. Khumutso, I can't wait for the masterclass. Um, you know, I love beginnings. I love being at the beginning of something because there's so much potential. And that's what 2022 is giving us. The opportunity to begin afresh. But a lot of us think that the beginning is only in our minds. Some of you haven't even written down your goals. It's just that um, I would like to... It's not even written down. If it's not written down, I'm not sure how you're going to articulate a clear strategy and plan. Okay. So I'm seeing a question from Lynn. Um, Lynn is saying challenges are changing the mindsets of HR. That is a good question. And what I love about that question, Lynn, is the assumption that you have to change HR's mindset. And I can tell you the mindset of almost every institution. They are interested in the bottom line. They are interested in value being brought to them that will help them grow their strategy. And that is a mindset you don't have to shift. If you are able to add value to that strategy, if you are able to add value to that bottom line. Remember when we started our conversation, Lynn, I mentioned the fact that a lot of us view our career goals through the mindset and the lens of being an employee. Very few of us are looking at our stakeholders and saying, what do they need? And then aligning our career goals accordingly. If you are going to go into any relationship about me, what do I want? What do I get? And take no consideration for the landscape and the relation you find yourself in, you will find yourself alone. So if your career goals are not cognizant of where you find yourself, you're going to be frustrated. It's in essence this. It's saying you want to be, you know, I like music and how I do music is through a cassette mixtape. That's how I roll. That's fantastic. It was a hit in the 80s. The landscape has changed. You are now in a digital space. You are now competing with iTunes. But your plans, you're planning to be analog as opposed to be planning to be in the future where iTunes might not even exist. 
So it's important that you are looking and adding value in the digital landscape you find yourself. Your goals should reflect that. Otherwise, you're planning to succeed yesterday as, a pl as opposed to planning to succeed for the future. So your goals really have to be looking at you being successful in the future and not just for yesterday. Okay, I hope I've answered that question. Guys, how's everyone doing? Is everyone with me? Who's, who's with me on Goals 2022? Who's joining the masterclass? Let me know Goals 2022. If you've just joined us, my name is Vomin Sueli and I am a career coach. And we are talking all about career planning for 2022. We're talking about what is necessary for us to be successful in the future not just yesterday and definitely not just for today because what worked for us yesterday is not going to work for us in the future and if you're interested we have a career a career goals setting masterclass in in right now in january on the last day on the 31st of january on the 31st of january at 6 p.m you literally can dm the word goals or you can follow me on instagram um, at Vumim Sueli and I and DM and message me goals and we will send you information to join it. It's only 250 rands. We've given a discount to the mentorship boardroom team. So I'm seeing, let's have a saying goals. Now we're saying goals 2022. Sydney's saying goals 2022. I see you, Pearl. My can appear. Every all you guys are saying goals 2022. Guys, let us be goals in 2022. Let us make goals and let us be goals in 2022. Remember that where you're going to end up is a direct result of what it is that you have planned. So if you're saying, for me, what do you mean I didn't plan? And that's why you are where you are. If you are not planning, you're going to be where you are. And more so, everyone else would have moved forward. So you actually will find yourself behind everybody else. Okay, the reason we have done this masterclass on the last day of the month is we wanted everyone to say, oh, okay, I wrote down my New Year's resolutions. How, how have you executed them thus far? How many of you are saying, Vumi, I am killing my New Year's resolutions. I have only had salads. I've gone to gym five times a week. Um, I'm not on my phone for, less than, for more than 30 minutes. How many of you are killing your goals? I phone my mom every Monday. How many of you are saying that? Or are you saying, ah, booming, quang, 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 quang. not doing it? Guys, if you're not doing it alone, that is why we work together. That African saying, when you want to go far, you go together. If you want to go quickly, you go alone. So if you're quickly rushing to failure, you'll probably do it alone. But if you work with somebody, and that's what this, this opportunity is, it's why we believe in mentorship in the mentorship boardroom. It's about helping each other go further okay by going together and that's what i want to do with you on the 31st yes as he's saying yes to being intentional hashtag goals 2022 i'm here for that uh goals written down already need to develop the path already too i'm ecstatic that you wanted to develop the path the how to develop that path i'll we'll be unpacking on the 31st of january in class okay yes slow and deep slow and deep. it's time to level up i'm here level up level up Level up, level up, level up. Khumoto, <laughs> you've got a question. How do you overcome the fear of changing careers? For example, you're in marketing, but there's an opportunity for growth in the HR, and that doesn't necessarily align with what you have studied. Khumoto, you that is called career pivoting or career transitioning. Okay? So when we're looking at and if your goal, that's your goal, right? This year you want to you want to execute a career transition. There are a number of things that we look at in looking at career transition. I've actually got a two-hour masterclass on it. So if you DM me, I'll give you access to that, to that masterclass. But just to give you a high-level overview, the fear, I'll answer the way I answered my very first person asked me about fear, you do it afraid. The fear is not going to subside, okay? We do it afraid. But the how do you go about doing it afraid is what, in essence, you're asking. So the first step is understanding some of the skill sets that you have that can be repurposed. So just so you're saying you're coming from marketing. Coming from marketing means you understand strategy very well. It means you understand um, consumer psychology very well. It means you're well versed in research. As a marketeer, those are key basics and fundamentals you need to be comfortable with. It also means you're comfortable often working with um, 
with people so you're working with agencies your copywriters etc you, you're comfortable with ideation and executing on those strategies those are some of the skill set that marketing brings to the table what does hr need hr needs to understand the psychology of its people skill set that you can transmute hr needs to bring into ideation some of the hr strategies to roll out internally within the organization it's something you're familiar with it's something you can plug and play HR needs um, the ability to work with various stakeholders because you're worried about, um, you know, HR policy. You've got legislation, legislators telling you um, how things need to work. You've got, um, you've got, you're working with people like pension funds saying to you, okay, this is what we need to do. You, so you're working with the guys in finance. The number of key stakeholders that you're working with, which is a skill you would have mastered in marketing. So when you are transmuting that sort of um, principles and, and, and skill set, you can do it. The how then depends on the organization. So I'd want to find out the organization you've worked for. What is the opportunity? How are you negotiating and navigating that? So it's, it's very, very possible. Just because you don't, you didn't study something does not mean you will not be successful in it. I'll use myself as an example. I studied accounting sciences. And then I spent the better half of a decade working in strategy and operations. And now I work in a discipline that is a social science which works a lot with psychology and counseling and, and, and working with people, working in the coaching space. So, so accounting did not necessarily step-by-step step prepare me for what followed um, in my career. But my ability to take the skill set that accounting did give me and expose myself to other skill sets allowed me to be able to grow in my career. But that's something I'd love to chat to you about. Uh, feel free to DM me. Happy to give you access to that career transitions class. Um, if you just DM me, DM me in, um, in, uh, at Vroom Swaggy. Okay. So, guys, we've got three minutes left of this live. Are there any questions? Any other questions? Please let me know, guys, if, the, if you've enjoyed this live. Let me see fire emojis. Let me see fire, flames, to show me that 2022 is going to be lit. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section. Um, before we wrap up our live. And of course, if you've just joined us in the mentorship boardroom, make sure in our link right now in the mentorship boardroom, please click the link. Please do sign up for mentorship. Whether you're willing to be a mentor or willing to, to look for mentorship, uh, please do, do, do sign up on our website. Uh, oh, I'm glad I was able to answer your question, so It's an absolute pleasure. I see you saying thank you. Vui is saying fire. Ez is fire. Pro is saying fire. It's going to be lit. Offense is like it's fire in 2022. And it is going to be fire on the 31st of January when we have our masterclass, Career Goal Setting. Please make sure you DM the word goals to the mentorship boardroom. Follow me or DM me, Vumim Sweli. Um, and I will happily be able to connect you with our masterclass on the 31st of Jan. Okay, everybody, please have a fantastic lit 2022. May all your goals formulate into strategies that formulate into an action plan that formulate into your desires being made manifest. Thank you so much, everybody. Stay safe. Bye.